inside our lab package. I'm going to create a new system for the lab. And inside that system, we will put our operator and our robot. I'll make a new system type called lab. And because this is a secret laboratory, we will make a new system implementation called secret lab. Implementations can have subcomponents, so now I will add subcomponents to my lab implementation for the operator and for the robot. To do that, I've created a new component diagram just for the system implementation. Here I can add subcomponents and make connections between those subcomponents. I've added one subcomponent for my operator. Note that I'm going into the AADL properties to indicate that the classifier for this, op this subcomponent is my Gerald type implementation. Now I can go show and show all of the features on the Gerald classifier as they are available in this subcomponent. Similarly, I can add an additional subcomponent for my robot and I can connect that to the robot.mindstorms classifier and add its features to this model. In the context of this system, the lab system, I can begin to make connections between the features of my operator and the features of my robot. To do that, I'm going to finish getting all of these ports lined up nicely. Then I'll go to feature, or excuse me, I'll go to connections and I will draw feature connections between these ports. neglected to name the thumb port correctly so I'm fixing that now and we'll do one more connection. Now I'm going to reorganize the display of these features so that they show up without being crisscrossed. After adding features and connections I'm going to add flow sources and sinks. Flow sources and sinks indicate the beginning and end of individual data flows. A data flow describes the flow of information across one or more connections. I'm going to note every data source as a flow source and every data sink as a flow sink. After I have noted flow sources and sinks, we can describe end-to-end -end flows. I'll do that using the end-to-end -end flow creation tool. For each end-to-end -end flow that I want to describe, I provide a name for that flow, and then I select each component in the flow starting from its source. 